during this demonstration, we will learn how to extract a CSRF token from the response header, the body of the response, and so on. We will also learn how to use the extracted token in another HTTP request. Please note that this is a more advanced JMeter video that builds on everything that you've learned in the previous JMeter videos. Uh, in this video, we will use a regular expression extractor to extract a token while using timers, login, logout, and a data file with random delays between requests to mimic real-world scenarios. Let's start off by saving our test plan. And I'm going to save it with a name, uh, JMeter. Right, so that's it. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a thread group to this test plan. And I'm going to accept defaults and go ahead and add an HTTP request. Let's name this HTTP request as HTTP request homepage. And in the server name, let's uh, add blazedemo.com. And in the path, I'm going to enter register. I'm also going to verify that a method is set to get. And with that done, I'm now going to go ahead and configure the test to extract a CSRF token from the get request response received from blazemeter.com blazemeterdemo.com slash register web page. Now I'm going to right click this HTTP request homepage and add a post processor to it by the name regular expression extractor. I'm going to ensure that the main sample only radio button is selected and also select the response headers for field to check. This uh, name will be used, uh, the reference name that you see here will be used later in the script for extracting the CSRF token. I'm going to set the reference name to token. And in the regular expression, I'm going to set it to, so the regular expression is now done. And in the template, I'm going to add dollar $1. And I'm going to configure the default value to token not found. And note that this message will appear if the if your test result displays no token is found. Now, next, let's go ahead and register a new account and create a new HTTP request. So I'm going to go back into thread group. And I'm going to go ahead and add a sampler for HTTP request. And I'm going to name this as HTTP request register. And I'm going to make sure that the method I'm using for this request is post. And the server name will be blazedemo.com. And the path, uh, oops, blazedemo. And the path is going to be register. Right now, I'm going to add about five parameters that I'm going to send off with this request. So for that, I'm going to add five rows here. And the, for the first row, I'm going to enter the name as name. And the value is going to be Jane Smith. For my second uh, parameter, I'm going to add the name as company. And the value is going to be boys meter. The third one is going to be email. And the value is going to be jsmith at boysmeter.com. The fourth is going to be password. And the value is going to be a b c d one, two, three, four. And the last going to be password con confirmation. The value is going to be A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four, yet again. 
Now let's add and configure an HTTP cookie manager on it. So I'm going to go back into HTTP request register and add a cookie manager to it. And I'm going to choose compatibility in the cookie policy. And I'm going to add a row to the user-defined cookies. The name's going to be xsrf hyphen token. And the value is going to be dollar token. This entry will allow the HTTP cookie manager to use the token that was extracted in the first sequence. Now let's go ahead and add a view results tree listener that will capture and display the results of the test. So I'm going to go back into thread group and add a listener here. Save the test and go ahead and start it. Alright, so if you look at your HTTP request register step, uh, you can see that the cookie has been extracted and posted into the second HTTP request. Now, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and add an HTTP request sampler to log in into the website. So I'm going to go back into the thread group and add an HTTP sampler. Let's name it HTTP request login. And uh, the serve is going to be blaze demo again. And the path, I'm going to set that to login. The method's going to be post. And I'm going to add two parameters here. The first parameter is going to be email. And the email's uh, J, J Smith at blazemeter.com and the second parameter is password which I'm going to set to a b c d one two three four now let's also add another http request sampler to log out of the website and pass the token as the parameter so let's go back into thread group add another http sampler and I'm going to call this one as request logout. And it's going to go into blazedemo.com. And the method's going to be post. And the part's going to be logout. And I'm also going to make sure that I have follow redirects and keep alive checkboxes checked. I'm going to go ahead and right click the HTTP cookie manager and copy it and then go back into the request logout and paste it there. Right, a copy of the HTTP cookie manager is created and uh, what we'll do now is we're going to add a uniform random timer which will give a random delay of approximately two seconds between the requests. So let's go back into your thread group and let's add a timer into it. And the value that I'm going to enter in there is going to be about 300. And the delay offset, I'm going to set a value of about 2000. So this is done. Now let's go ahead and uh, go back into our results tree. And I'm going to go ahead and save this test off and go ahead and run the test. Before that, I might as well clear and go ahead and run it. Please note that the test has passed and we can at this time uh, go ahead and click each of these requests to view the test results. You will be able to see the cookie being passed uh, successfully to each of the required steps. And the next thing that we want to do now is add a debug sampler to view what was extracted during the test. So to do that, let's go back into our thread group. And I'm going to go ahead and add a debug sampler now. I'm 
I'm going to leave the configuration as default and go back into the results tree listener. Clear it, save the test and run the test again. Let's look at the debug sampler in the result set. And if you would notice, you can go to the response data and uh, look at the various variables that were extracted and the value of token uh, in the test result. This completes the demonstration. Thank you for watching.